to get going is to leave a place or to start something. I'm going to get going. These two words can go together. I'm gonna get going. I'm going to get going. Or, I'm gonna get going. Both are fine for spoken English. Let's get going is the same as to say, let's go or let's leave. It is possible to use get going in the past tense, but it's usually negative. We didn't get going until late in the evening. If you didn't have the negative and instead we got going late in the evening, that sounds a little awkward. So my recommendation is that if you do use it in the past tense, use it with a negative. By putting didn't in front of this verb, this makes this verb negative, and this is in the simple form, followed by the word going. You can use have got with get going. I've got to get going. You can combine have, got, and to these three sections and form gotta. I gotta get going. I've got to get going. I gotta get going. If the subject is singular for a man or a woman, then you will use this. He's, this is he has, and then gotta get going. He's gotta get going. She's gotta get going. If it's plural, then you'll use they've. They've gotta. They've gotta get going. Let's get going can be used when you leave a place, but you can also use it when you start something. Let's get going is very similar to let's start. We're going to get going on this in the summer. So whatever this is has not yet started, but there are plans for the summer. We're going to get going on this in the summer. We hope to get going on the project early next month. Here's the subject. This is the verb. Here's an infinitive to get going. This is a prepositional phrase on the project. And then here's a time expression, early next month. We hope to get going on the project early next month. Everyone is ready to get going. You can say this when you leave a place or when you start something new, such as a project or a trip.